Hi everyone, this is Chris. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can modify the VR template in Unreal Engine 4.13 so that the character can actually transport themselves on top of other surfaces besides just the ground plane. So to start, we'll launch Unreal Engine and we'll create a new project using the virtual reality template. If you hit P, you can see where the navigation mesh for the map is. This shows you everywhere the character can teleport to, and you'll notice that the character won't be able to teleport onto any other surfaces besides the floor. If we want to change that, we need to edit the motion controller blueprint. The function we're interested in is the trace teleport destination function. In here, it's drawing a projectile path and using the results of that to define the nav mesh location, which is where our character will teleport to, and the trace location, which is the first point that that navigation arc touches on a surface. As it stands now, the function projects the hit point to the nearest point on the navigation mesh, and that becomes the destination location for our teleport. But in our case, we want the hit point and the destination point to be the exact same point. So we're going to bypass the projection to the navigation mesh. Now let's preview our change. So you'll notice not only can I teleport to areas on the floor, I can also teleport onto the other surfaces. Let's add a slightly different surface. This is going to be a movable object. You'll notice that although we can teleport to any statically placed object, it ignores any movable objects. So let's fix that next. To fix that, we're going to make another change to the trace teleport destination function. You can see that it's filtering to only do hit tests on world static objects. So we'll just add an additional object type to the array of world dynamic. So now both static and movable objects will be tested. We need to make that same change in one more place. We'll go to the event graph. And in the Handle Teleportation Arc section, look for a similar array. We're going to make the exact same change. Now we'll compile and save and preview it again. You're going to notice something odd here when I first try to teleport. My teleport arc doesn't go anywhere. That's because my hand is a movable object, so therefore the arc is getting stuck on that object. Fixing that's easy. We just go back to the trace teleport destination function and use the actors to ignore array. Our input is just going to be a reference to self so that it will ignore any objects that are a part of the motion controller blueprint. Now if we preview again, you'll see that teleportation onto movable objects works just like we want it to. So 
There's one more type of object that you might want to be able to use in your teleportation schemes. We'll make a duplicate of the movable object and we'll turn on simulate physics for that object. So now this object is a physics body. If we preview again, you'll see that teleportation is ignored for physics bodies because physics bodies are considered a different type of object than static or movable objects. So the change we need to make is the same kind of change we just made. We'll add one more array element, set it to physics body, make that same change in the event graph in the handle teleportation arc section. And that should do it. Let's preview to make sure it works. Perfect. Now we're able to teleport onto physics objects, dynamic movable objects, and static objects.